Hey, this is Mike with AshTractorMike.com. I've been noticing some tread patterns on my tractor the last few days, and I thought, well, this would be a good time to talk about inflation and how much air to put in your tires. If you'll notice right here behind you, you can see, because of the dust marks, where the tires are wearing. They're wearing right in the center and not on the sides. And it's pretty consistent all the way around the tire. What's really funny about this, when you look at the tires, you think it's way overinflated because of this wear pattern right here. In truth, it's actually underinflated. The owner's manual recommends on this tire that you, you, re, you would inflate it anywhere from 16 to 45 PSI. When you measure it, I actually have it inflated. And I don't know whether you're going to be able to see that or not, but about 10 PSI. So I'm actually six pounds per square inch below where recommended. And we're wearing on this part right here. The reason I wanted to bring that up, in my pickup truck tires, horse trailer tires, any trailer tires, I usually try to run about the maximum inflation. And I do that for a couple of reasons. Number one, I'm not really worried that much about the ride because I've got springs under me to make a better ride. And number two, you get less rolling resistance and, and better mileage when you have more air in them. So I inflate like almost to the maximum. And number three, I think you get better wear on your tires. With the tractor, you're right on, you don't have any springs to protect you from a harsh ride. So you're right on the ground with the tires and, and, and your, your seat feels ever bump. So you want to be at the bottom end of the inflation and actually you can probably be just a little bit below that to get a better ride and better grip with your tires and, and in my mind better wear. On the back tires I usually like to be around 10 to 12 pounds per square inch and you'll get a good ride and you'll get good wear pro, uh, uh, patterns and good traction. Now the reason I'm telling you this, especially if you've just bought a new tractor, when I worked in a dealership I noticed a trend Tractors being unloaded off the truck brand new had way, way too much air in them. And I, I don't know the reason for that. It may be due to trucking and the ability to chain them down. I don't know. And they may just come from the factory that way. But we, we would notice inflation up 35, 45, 50 pounds per square inch. Way too much air. And so on every tractor we prepped, we would let air out of the tires. But uh, some dealers may not catch that. So if you're buying a new tractor especially, check the air on your tires. Be at the bottom end of the range. You'll get a better ride, good wear, and good traction. Hey, I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'd like it if you'd share this with other tractor enthusiasts. And I'd love it if you'd like my Facebook page. Hey, if you've got questions, put them down below. I'll try to answer them. Hey, thanks for watching.